Well, summertime means traveling for many folks and grabbing food on the go. It's a time when we could derail from healthy habits, but registered dietitian April Dirt Eater here in the Air Comfort Solutions Kitchen to tell us you can find nutritious foods on road trips, even gas stations. You can see there are some <laughs> surprising options here. So glad to have you, April. Thank you. Um, before we get to the road trips and the tips, let's talk a little bit about you and your business. You started Ad Nutrition two years ago? Yes, yep, I started it two years ago, um, just when I finished my internship, before I passed my RD exam. And what I do is I help people pursue optimal health by focusing on what to add versus what to restrict. And I also work with rodeo athletes and sports performance. So, and why I focus on that is because I'm sure we all have been on a fad diet, we've all, um, lost the weight, gained it back, and kind of stuck in that dieting cycle. And why that happens is because we focus on stripping everything away versus on focusing on how can I make my diet more nutritious. And nutrition should be something to nourish you. It shouldn't be something you don't look forward to. So, um, and like looking even at the diet statistics, it is 80% um, of people regain their weight back within one year of dieting and 95% gain their weight back within three years. And so what I want to help is prevent that from happening by showing on that you can add foods that you enjoy, but also while adding nutrition. You just explained my life. It's a, <laughs> it's a roller coaster. I've done every diet known to man. So I, I feel this for sure. This time of year, you're on the road, folks, you know, hard to it can be hard to eat well especially if you're on a road trip you go into a gas station here you are shopping there's so many options candy bars cokes all the good stuff how can you still get some of the stuff you like but still stay healthy yeah so i think you should ask yourself too like you know say you do want the sour patch kids you want the doritos um but think about those foods have you ever opened a bag of doritos bag of sour patch kids start eating it you get to the bottom of the bag and you're still not satisfied or full um, so what I want to focus on is like how can you make this snack also nourishing and filling and so what I like to say is like focus on protein fiber and color um, so if you can add a protein food to the say the Sour Patch Kids um, like the chocolate milk I have here or um, a protein shake that's going to hold you over a lot longer than just eating the Sour Patch Kids so um, and just like with the Doritos as well. What we did is we paired an apple, so some color, and then we have the cheese sticks for protein and fats. So you'll start eating the apple, you'll start eating the cheese stick, you'll eat the Doritos, and you're actually gonna feel full, and that's the goal of it. You don't want to just eat the Doritos, and then you're gonna feel that unsatisfied, and you're probably gonna go to a gas station here shortly, <laughs> or you're gonna find yourself at your desk snacking some more because you didn't think of the snack as something filling. So do you eat them, the apple and the cheese stick first? Do you recommend that? the healthy stuff first and then maybe you don't finish the chips after that. That could be a good way of thinking of it. Um, you could go about it that way, but because um, you will get that protein, you'll get that filling in and then you'll eat the chips and maybe you'll be satisfied a lot quicker. So that could be a strategy. Um, but some people, like if you want to start the chips and eat the, and you know you want the chips, I mean, go ahead and do that because it really is just like 200 calories for a bag of chips. And then if you're pairing it with the apple and the cheese stick, you want that to be a filling, satisfying snack. So I know that you're a coach, you coach people in your business, but mm -hmm. you also do a lot of social media coaching. Yes. We're about out of time, but on Instagram, I, I, I've been following you from the beginning while you were still in college. So uh, how has social media really impacted you and gotten your reach out even further? Oh my gosh, um, it's incredible, um, the reach I get through Reels and I get so many messages and this is why I do what I do. Like your post helped me so much. Um, I actually can feel like I can do this nutrition thing because I feel like all these diets make people feel like they can't do it. And it's been incredible being, being able to reach people and show them a sustainable way of eating and a w way they can eat that they can actually stick to. Well, I, I'm a fan, I'm fangirling. I've been following <laughs> April for several years and, and we don't have time to talk about this much, but I do just wanna mention, you might recognize her last name. That's because she's married to a bull riding star from Oklahoma, Ryan Dirt Eater. She also helps rodeo athletes with nutrition. So April, I'm just tickled to have you on here today and hopefully we can have you back again soon. Absolutely, thanks for having me. And we've linked all of her information inside this story over at newson6.com.